Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we take a look at the new Marvel Legends Iron Man Model 1. This is a new package. It comes in package free. He's recommended for ages 4 and above, and these are 112 scale action figures. So here's the top of the box with the Marvel Legends logo, the nameplate. The kind of very red, white, and blue type box. I like it. It's a very American feel to it. We have the Avengers logo beyond. Earth's Mightiest. Checking has a small parts for Chosen Avengers 3 and Hasbro's logo. And on this side of the box, we have the picture of the figure. Looks pretty decent. And on this side, we do have the comic art. Looks pretty awesome. One of the legends at the bottom. This is back of the box of the Legends Iron Man Model 1. Very nice picture of the figure. The accessories we get, very few. Actually, it feels like it's a figure in the box when you pick it up. Bottom of the packaging. Here's the UPC. Uh, found mine at Target, $27.99. If that helps you at all. Bottom of the packaging, and there's the top of the packaging. So here it is, outside the packaging. He's basically a silver Model 1 Iron Man. There's really no other paint besides the um, his chest reactor, which is uh, like a bluish and white. Other than that, I mean, there's really nothing more to talk about. Only of all aesthetics, the sculpt is there. It is... Really cool how it comes across as a, you know, very early staged, one of a kind type prototype of Iron Man, like old school metal work versus the newer technology, obviously, this is what I'm trying to say. But the head sculpt looks pretty good. Some, I wish there's some studs through there. Some wear right there on his forehead. It's pretty good. Antenna. It's actually pretty stiff. Doesn't seem like it's going to break off very easily. So that's good. This is actually painted. It's not a sticker. So that's good. His chest. This is belt. The arms. He has like a gripping hand here. You can grab my hand. That's a big hand. Every, oh, same thing for this side. That's how big that hand is. Pretty cool. The back of it. got this line work here. Some metal studs to bolts or ribbons. A nice silver armor on the back side. There's legs. Just silver, straight, smooth. His feet. So you see, this is for his thrusters. Nice tread here on the bottom. Pig hole. Very nice looking figure. Um, he's actually, a, he's a big boy. For, for what you get. All right, so articulation. Um, so this piece of the bottom of his helmet kind of rubs that collar. Just want to be careful you don't damage that if you care about your sculpt at all. But you can get rotation back and forth, side to side. It's pretty good. So it's not removable. Arms rotate 360 all the way around. Very nice fluent joints. Get higher than T Pez. Right, cool. Bicep rotation 360 right there. We do have do a double joint elbows. It looks like it. I think the skull gets in the way. Yeah, it does. It has double joint elbows. But that sculpt gets in the way. It really gets in the way. Then we have this hands that rotate 360. Here in the center, we do have that propulsor. Hands can go in and out pretty far. Like he's gonna press somebody over his head. You could do that if you wanted to. Pretty cool. This hand is the same thing. So if you want to give him that muscle man pose, you can do that. Um, nothing in the chest there. So the waist, 
you can kind of crunch some back. Pretty cool. Um, there is a rotation there, but mine's kind of, I don't know what's going on. I want to kick back, so I'm not going to force it. Uh, maybe it's heated or you guys can find that out. If that's something that interests you. The legs. Wow. Very nice joints. Very nice joints. Oops. They're sitting. I guess it doesn't matter what size figure you have. You can still drop it. Splits. This way. Pretty good too. He feels like a good quality figure. Um. Size swivel, 360 on both legs, and we have the double, double jointed knees. I think it has the same problem with the sculpt getting in the way. Or oh, the joints are there, but I like using them very much. You can use them to a degree. Um, no boot swivel. Feet can't pivot down. A little up. And you got around the around the ankle to give you that rocker style feel um what am i say about these newer figures i've just been getting um in these white boxes they have been some of the best quality figures i picked up the black widow and i seen this guy and i was like eh, i passed him on the first time that seemed again i said like, he looks pretty awesome so i got him and i'm glad i did because he looks fantastic and he is a nice quality figure I think now that, you know, we <laughs> since they started making Marvel Legend figures, they've been making it was probably worth a thousand it is now. They've really gotten to, they found their niche. So now, if you are getting some of their, you know, first figures that basically come out, characters that come out like a long time ago when the first Iron Man movie came out here, this is probably your better version. So if you kind of waited, like I did, you know, you kind of made out a little bit. Well, it doesn't come with very many accessories. It does come with uh, extra one set extra hands, and they are fisted. Pretty cool. Just silver metal hands, and then you get these really cool black smoke effects, which is awesome because they're black and pretty decent. These are repaint from uh, other figures. Very awesome. And then you get the two effects. It's kind of softer. And how that works, I believe you have to put these like through here, like this. Or does it go above there? Because you need to hold them on. And then I can kind of go in his feet. So keeps the black maybe you have to like there you go get that around like that and then the pig in the middle uh, that kind of that effect that's really cool um did we lose the other one there we go so kind of under and over so to speak and then, of course, you can fine-tune which way you want to see it from the front versus the back. And there you go. Now he's blasting off. That's pretty crazy. It's a nice effect there. And then, one thing I wanted to see... Without trying to knock these things out, except I push him in all the way. I'm staying in pretty good though. Kind of can get like a flight pose, maybe. This is where we needed it somehow to get that extra joint where he can look upward and obviously for some type of flight mode or but there's no looking up. Utilize his chest or his stomach chest piece for a flight. <laughs> Flat <Flyby's. laughs> That's pretty cool. At different angles, I guess. It's 
pretty sweet. Yeah, he's a cool figure. He's definitely cool. Um, I like the figure. I'm not. I know he is he worth twenty seven bucks. I mean, I don't have any problem with the figure for me from my personal whatever issues. You know, we all have as collectors on what we want to pay for something, but um, I don't really regret buying because he's a he's a thicker figure. He's solid. He feels good. The tolerances are good. The joints are good. A little lack on the accessories. I mean, but well, I mean, what else could he come with? But maybe an extra Tony Stark head would have been awesome. Like we can swap out the head, or maybe a special head for flight, like another helmet head, a little like different articulation, an extra joint in the back, or something, uh, so you can have this aesthetic versus maybe you know a, a different type style joint in the back to free it up. It could be done. So, but other than that, I really don't have any gripes about the figure. I think he's awesome. I do recommend picking him up if you can, if you want to get him. He's very very cool. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you in our next review.